Good morning, folks. Yeah, so I think we gotta talk another talk about uh, another discussion about Parodolia once again. You know, uh, Sibs, uh, the rocks were all lies. Uh, seeing is the believing. Facebook page just got hacked, so uh, that's kind of hilarious. You know, I was kind of criticizing him in that other video, and I, I tried to tell him, but he didn't listen. You know, the problem is he thinks everything is a humanoid guy and face, you know. Yeah, so I gotta do another roast on him, you know. He's the one making this petrified phenomenon into some kind of clown show, you know. He thinks the Himalayas is like some kind of humanoid. I mean, he thinks Himalayas is some kind of humanoid head lying there like this. But uh, I am looking at this and uh, you did, it's everything is the same all the way up to the Middle East and uh, it's all made of this really huge dragon, this extremely huge dragon. As in, like not that huge but you know, kind of like this. But th this, you know, I tried this, uh, you know, we gotta talk about art and this, uh, have you seen this artificial intelligence stuff taking over the art community lately? Yeah, I, I did try to make uh, the artificial intelligence make my kind of art, but uh, I'm kind of disappointed. I was hoping for something better, but uh, I don't think uh, artificial, artificial intelligence can do my art very good. I'm not trying to be silly about it, but you know this artificial intelligent art generator thing? Yeah, that's play kind of silly. No, I'm just kidding. Some of it is impress, impress. I guess I have to try another kind of generator, maybe. But back to the point. The rocks are wild, I love that. He thinks everything is kind of humanoid face, and uh, Himalaya is not a humanoid face. I'm sorry, Sib, but uh, you are sibbing around. I, I get it. So, uh, Mr. Seeing is believing. Yeah, seeing is believing. You know, Mount Everest is not a human on face. There's no face there. There's no head. There, this is paradoxical. This is completely paradoxical. You know? I tell you, you're all wrong about, about that one. There's no head. There's no eye there. There's no nose there. There's no. There's not a mouth there. You know. I'm sorry, but uh, that's not a head. That's not. That is not what you think that is. I mean, look at it. If you just uh, carefully examine this, then you understand. Just look at all the mountains, compare them. You see all the same patterns. It's like a genetic signature. Oh, what is this? I guess you can see some humanoid faces in those patterns too. Yeah, that's the human nose there. You know, that's this eye. There's a face. There's eye. You know that hundreds percent of human face. Just look at it. Yeah, that's a sleeping lady right there. One hundred percent real. I'm gonna swallow that whole instantly. <coughs> I think I had something in my throat. I'm sorry about that. Check it out. That gotta be a giant head. Yeah, that's a giant head. That's a troll. That's gotta be a troll. Yeah, a classical troll. Yeah, that's a cl classical troll. Like uh, the trolls here. In, we had a tr dozen trolls here in Norway. Honestly, I haven't seen a single troll yet, but um, maybe we'll find one day. Find, maybe we'll find a troll someday. So back to this giant arm. So I, I am uh, have been uh, careful examining this, and uh, I have decided that I do not think this is human at all. I don't think this is human at all. You know, uh, there's nothing human about this uh, petrified fish. But uh, this, I gotta tell you, this is uh, the the way I figured that out. You gotta use your paradox a little bit. Uh, but in a very constructive uh, and logical way. Yeah, but I did think this was looking very human-like in the arm uh, profile, kind of hand profile. But it could be like a hand of a dragon or a hand of uh, something else. But what it is, I'm not gonna decide that it is a human uh, in any shape or form. 
I believe this will have big claws due to this uh, area over here. Uh, so this seems like uh, this could be a big loss for him. But, uh, you know, the bones is uh, completely gone according to the, the theory. But uh, I'm not even sure what this is. Uh, if, what it, even if it looks like. Yeah, so anyways, this arm looking thing is uh, playing very close to something that looks like another dragon's head, another species of dragons. And it seems like it's uh, it's kind of made of the same fabric, I don't know, but I'm not going to analyze that right now. So the, anyways, there's a phenomenal uh, landscape here in Norway. Yeah, so just at last I want to show you this rock. Uh, that I found look exactly like the landscape and this is part of what I do the reason why that rock is shaped like that that is how you figure it out that is how I know that it's not a human one or the, you know I mean you gotta take some critical analysis uh, you gotta do a more uh, critical analysis sometimes you can't just assume everything that looks like a human face is the human face like, like I did with this, uh, you know, object. So uh, that's this. What that's uh, all for today, folks. We'll see you in the next video.